Good afternoon, Stage 2 families. Thank you for um, taking the time to view this video, listen to this video. Um, we just wanted to quickly give you some um, key information that is specific to Stage 2. Um, obviously, if you're coming to Parent Info Night, you are more than welcome to ask us specific questions that you might have. Um, but this will hopefully answer a lot of your key questions about Stage 2. So our team is here in Stage 2. In 2A, we have Mrs. Castle and Mrs. Beerman, who's working on Monday. In Stage 2B, we have Mrs. Eckstein. I am in Stage 2C this year, and Mrs. Lang is in Stage 2D. So the Calvary Distinctive is mastery of curriculum matters. Okay, so learning the curriculum and those different um, essentials that we need to teach our children that is important and that matters and that is something that we teach and take seriously but mastery of skills development matters more teaching your children the skills that they need to be lifelong learners um, that matters more but at Calvary what matters the most is our formation of character and faith um, so our formation program, which is um, where we learn about God, we learn about God's intention for us, we learn about the Bible, we learn about Jesus' love, um, that is intertwined through all of our curriculum at Calvary. Um, and helping children to form their faith and form their character is what matters most to us at Calvary. If you've been at Calvary for a few years, you will be aware of the learning habits. Um, so learning habits is um, a big focus for us in stage two. And this term, we're going to be focusing on three key learning habits, which are collaborating, being resourceful and being organized. Um, so they are things that we will be referring to constantly. There'll be direct teaching involved in those things, but these are life skills that are really important for our young people. Um, so collaborating, we're going to be looking at whether they can interact with others positively, um, whether they can be responsible in groups, and basically working on social skills. Being resourceful um, is whether our students can make connections, um, whether they can take learning risks and solve problems, and obviously being organised. Um, can our learners organise their learning space, be prepared for learning, can they be focused and can they use their time productively? So these are skills that are really important for life in general. Um, stage two this year, our specialist timetable is a little bit different. We are really blessed to have an elective, which is Mr Ong for this term, who is going to be teaching our students digital technology. Um, which is amazing and you may have already heard your children talking about it. They love going on the computers and he is a, an expert in that space. So he is going to be upskilling our students in that area. Um, every class has a slightly different specialist timetable. Um, so we've popped together some of the key points on this slide for you, but um, for more information or specifics, your classroom teacher should give you a timetable. Um, with the specifics. If you haven't gotten that, just let them know and they can um, send that home with you. Home learning this year is also a little bit different if you've had a child in stage two before. So um, in the junior school at Calvary at Carbrook, we're looking for consistency across the school. So what we're going to be doing is um, sending our Maths Mentals home, the Think Mentals textbook. So that's going to be going home. Um, however, we will be explicitly teaching the concept or the, the mental strategy before it is sent home. So your child should know roughly what they should be doing with that strategy. Um, the Think Mentals textbook is all about learning different ways that we can solve problems. Um, mental strategies are encouraged, um, but if your child is struggling with that book, please let us know um, and we can make adjustments um, for your child's specific learning needs as you see fit. Um, we also are going to be having um, a spelling segmenting sheet. Um, so we will also be going through that explicitly teaching that in class. So your child should also know what to do with that. Um, they will be choosing words that are based on their learning needs and they should be bringing those home um, knowing what words they are. 
And we'll also be having a little mini inquiry task or question each week that is based on our unit of inquiry. Um, and that will just be glued into their home learning book. Focus on those is um, hopefully engaging some parent discussion, learning about their identity and delving a little bit deeper into things that they may have an interest in. The last thing that we are expecting from stage two for home learning is reading. Um, because we have a spectrum of learning needs and reading abilities in stage two, um, there is some flexibility in this space. So your child will have a reading log that will come home in their home learning book. Um, and we would really love for children to be reading every night. Obviously, um, if that doesn't suit with your family, then you need to do what's best for your family. Um, but there is space, whether your child needs to um, be still borrowing some readers from school, we do have them available and they are welcome to use them and take them home. Or if your child is onto longer novels, they can record what they have read. So any other questions about home learning, please don't hesitate to ask a teacher. They'll be able to clarify that further with you. Um, your teacher also should have sent home a, a timetable that had the uniforms, what day we have on what uniform. Um, this is a brief overview, um, but let us know if you haven't received that timetable, we can send that home. Um, our unit of inquiry for this term um, is all around identity. So in stage two, we are looking at um, what impacts our identity. We're looking at it holistically. So we're holistically looking at health how we can have a healthy body, a healthy mind, a healthy spirit. Um, we'd be looking at nutrition, exercise, sleep, hygiene, some of those basic things. Um, but we're also starting to think about how we can have a growth mindset, how we can stretch our brains, how we can overcome challenge, and how we can have um, a healthy spirit, how we can nurture our relationship with God and what God's intention for us is in our lives. Um, we also look at um, media influences and um, what media influences can, what effects that can have on us. Um, and we're also looking at um, what impacts our identity in different ways. Some key events for term one. So you can see we have quite a few events on this term coming up. Um, We've got our college photos and our disco coming up and our swimming carnival, also cross country um, and the bush dance. So it's pretty um, exciting term. Um, we wanted to just quickly go through communication again. Um, we would love to be in contact with you and we are definitely available to help you. We should be the first port of call if you have any questions around your child's learning. However, email is our preferred form of communication. Um, and that is just because we are teaching typically all day um, and we will endeavour to respond within two business days. Of course, sometimes it will be immediately, sometimes it will be within a couple of hours, um, but yeah, definitely within two business days. Um, communications are also emailed home from the um, head of junior school and from Mrs. Gostolo and um, they will come out on Thursdays with important information. So please make sure you're checking them. A lot of the time, important um, information about things that are upcoming or things that we need to be involved in are in there. And if you haven't downloaded the college app, please make sure that you um, do that because there will be permissions that you'll need to um, grant via the app for that. Um, we just wanted to let you know that we are blessed to be partnering with you on your child's learning journey this year and um, we are looking forward to working together with you um, as we help your child grow and please do not hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or we can help in any way. So if you have any other questions that haven't been answered please feel free to bring them to um, our meet and greet sessions after the parent info night or to just email your class teacher. Thanks.